the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> Bare knuckle boxing legend Big Joe Joyce dipped hands in petrol ahead of brutal brutal fights. Oh, is this that Irish guy? He One of those gentlemen. Hard as stone is what he said. It's made me right. hands hard as rock, stone. Rock hard. Oh, uh, let me hear this fella called. <laughs> Can we hear him talk? Probably, yeah. He's a, a. This is a traveler. Why is it? Uh, why isn't it okay to say gypsy anymore? What happened? I don't know. Is that not That's acceptable thing. anymore? That's what I heard. No such thing as bandages. Because bandages kills a couch, and I hear the culture man then I'll do nothing to him. Okay, just stop right there because we don't understand what he's saying. <laughs> I, I would refer to him as I wouldn't refer to him as a gypsy. I would refer to him as a pikey. That's a ah pikey. Yeah. Um, well, they call themselves travelers, travelers as well, right? Course. It's a it's these are weird distinctions, you know. Yeah, that's I probably offended a bunch of people there, which I'm, I didn't mean to do, but well, yeah, absolutely, bunch of tough motherfuckers, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Good bunch fighters. of really tough motherfuckers. Mm. Nicky Holtskin, isn't he? Uh, is is that right? he from that, that? I'm not sure. I'm, I think he is. He's very uh, pretty. Though. Tyson Fury for so. sure. Tyson Fury is. For I sure. used to train in the same boxing uh, gym as him. Like He used to have the ring the hour before me. And I remember watching him. He was just like this big hulking monster walking around. Dude, he's so he improved ridiculously tall. Yeah. <laughs> ridiculous. He's so tall and long, and he moves so good yeah. for a big heavyweight. Nice dude, though. God damn. He's mm. a great guy. Mm. He's yeah. a sweetheart of a guy. He is. And he really genuinely cares to reach out to people and tell them that if you are going through depression, if you're dealing with and suffering from mental illness, talk about it and get help. Mm. Because I almost killed myself, and now here I am, champ of the world, feeling great. Yeah. You I'd know? love to see him against Andy Ruiz. I would love to see that too. I think we'll that? see that. Yeah, I think I we'll so. see all these fights. Andy Ruiz is uh, not looking forward to fighting in Saudi Arabia, apparently. Yeah, why is it there? That makes no <laughs> I sense. I do at all. not. Look, again, one more time. I'm a moron. I'm not a fight promoter. I don't know what the fuck goes on behind the, so the scenes with lawyers. And I don't know what, what the contract said that he had. But what I had heard was that he had to fight in England. Like that was in the contract. That's what I had heard. But that could be horseshit. Yeah, I, mean, I have I, I, no idea. Maybe it, maybe it says in the contract that they have the right to tell him. I shouldn't have even said that I heard that because I don't even remember who told it to me. But the point is, there's a story that just came out that he does not want this fight to be in Saudi Arabia. I think he wants a fight in New York again. He he said he doesn't trust it over there. Yeah, you know, like he he doesn't trust it in England either. He doesn't trust fighting Joshua in England. He's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. I get it. I mean, he's the champ now. He can call he's his the champ shot, now. right? He <laughs> he's can call the his champ. Shot. Yeah, he's the champ, man. Neutral Fucking terrorist. super nice guy. Have you met him? Yeah, no, I have not met he's him. He's no. great. He was awesome on your podcast. He's I great. Listen to that. It's a good dude, man. Yeah. Genuine as fuck. And boy, does he have like fluidity and efficiency in his right. punches. No wasted movement. Yes. Yeah. And the other thing I was t I was talking to um, uh, Tim Hendricks about, we were, we were discussing boxing. He's, he actually trains at the Ruka gym with um, uh, uh, J uh, Jason Perillo. He's had a couple, mm. of, couple of fights himself. I'm a huge Jason Perillo fan. Yeah. He's a very, guy. very good coach, man. Very good. In the corners, he's great. Mm. Like his advice is great. And you see like the advancement of his pupils. Like, he's got that deep, bassy yep. voice. That and he doesn't toot his own horn ever. No, no. Not, you know, that guy just stays under the radar and just kicks ass. 